Happy Monday, y'all. Yes, I said happy. Happy Monday. Oh, I forgot to get a drink. Hey, Maddie. <clears throat> Can you bring me a water? I'm on a live, too. All right. Happy Monday, guys. I'm about to make your Monday a little bit brighter. So if you want to know how your Monday can get brighter, go ahead and share this video um, and then comment um, hashtag Good Monday. Hashtag Good Monday if you shared this video. And then um, if you're watching me on replay, you can comment hashtag replay down in the comments. And we are going to make this a good Monday. All right, and I'm going to let you in on a secret on how you can have an awesome Monday. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pin this real fast. Once you join, make sure to holla, say hello. Okay, <clears throat> hold on just a moment. I got to get a water. Come here. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, I gotta get a drink real fast, guys. While you guys are sharing and inviting friends, go ahead and invite all your friends. <clears throat> Everybody's want, gonna want in on this deal that's only available this week, only until Thursday. All right, we're going in with hydrating face primer to start with. Okay, so if you haven't guessed by now, that's how you can have an amazing Monday, is to go grab your October bundle, your Flawless 4 bundle. Okay, it's not too late yet. It's not too late. You've got four days to get it on sale. And if you do not know what the Flawless 4 bundle is, it's the most amazing bundle ever. Um, that is 30% discounted this month. Um, every month, if you don't actually, let me just introduce myself first. Okay. I always forget to do that. Sometimes I forget that you might have not seen my videos before, but I am a unique presenter. My name is Kayla. Um, so hello. How are y'all? Um, and every month unique has a bundle that is discounted and it's called our kudos bundle. So this month it was a very popular bundle that we have occasionally on sale and it's usually our most popular bundle. And I can tell you it has been my most popular bundle this month. So I'm gonna let you guys in on it. Um, you've got till Thursday to purchase it on sale and it comes with primer, which we just applied. You can choose a, um, Unique's original primer or our brand new spanking new hydrating face primer that just launched on the first of this month. Um, that's what I have been using and have been obsessing over. It's super good. I love it. Um, so while I'll tell while I tell you about the rest of the bundle, I'm gonna let that primer sit for a few moments. Um, and then it's also gonna come with concealer. Okay, this concealer lasts so long, like literally over a year. I I can't even tell you how long I've had this one. Um and then even after it gets to the bottom, cut the tip off of it and it'll last you even longer. Um, hi, Imelda. So concealer, you've got primer, concealer, and then you get to choose any of Unique's foundations. Okay, and that's including the brand new spray foundation, which we're using today because it's my favorite. And so I'm going to keep showing it to you guys and telling you about it because I feel like everybody needs this foundation. So you get to choose your foundation and then you get to choose your setting product. So if you want the setting powder, you can get the setting powder or if you want the setting spray, you can get the setting spray. 30% off with these, um, all these products in this bundle and it's only $99 for all of that. And you're gonna get a flawless face with it, okay? So if you're interested in it at any time during this video, just drop a flawless four down in the comments and I'll message you. I can help color match you and we will get yours ordered up. Okay, so we're gonna go in with foundation now. Now that our primer has set, we're gonna go in with um, the spray foundation in the shade Taffeta. That is my current shade. Like I said, if you don't know what shade to order, then just message me and 
I'll get you color matched. So you're going to shake up your can, okay? Usually I shake it until I don't hear that little ball shaking anymore. So just shake it for a good like 10 seconds or so. And we're going to use Unique's Kabuki brush. Um, this is the only brush that I use with the spray. Um, so if you don't have a good brush, then you might want to go ahead and grab Unique's Kabuki brush. You can throw that in your cart with your Kudos bundle. Um, I highly recommend that, okay? All right, so we're going to go in. And this foundation is lightweight and it is um, transfer resistant. So what I like to do, <clears throat> hi Jen, got to go to work, but popping on. All right, I hope you have a great day, Jen. Um, thanks for saying hello. Hi Gina. So what I like to do with this foundation is I like to work on one side of the face first because it is fast drying, um, but it is super full coverage and it is so light, like, Oh, you guys are going to be obsessed with this foundation. Hi, Emily. So we're going to go in with a couple sprays on the Kabuki brush. And we're going to start on one side first. And I've got a lot of redness going on, so this is perfect today to show you guys how full coverage it is. So I like to kind of stipple it on. And then we'll go in and buff it. That's how I personally apply it. Oh, it's so good. You guys, we are in the fall um, time of the month. It's getting colder. Um, everybody's breaking out the sweaters, the hoodies. And you know there's nothing worse than putting on a hoodie and getting that ring of foundation around your collar. Show me some hearts or show me some mad faces or whatever if you hate that. Um, there's nothing worse than that. Getting foundation on the collar of your hoodie or I hate that. Let me tell you, I have wore hoodies since getting the spray foundation and I have not gotten any foundation on the ring of my hoodie or turtlenecks, sweaters. Um, I'm not going to say that it's transfer proof because if you wipe your face like hard or you're, you know, wipe it with a towel or whatever, it's going to come off a little bit. But if you rub up against your um, collar or whatnot, it's not going to come off onto your clothes. So that's super huge for this time of the year. That's why you need to grab this bundle while it's on sale. Okay, because there's only four days left to get it. And this is the only way that you can get this foundation on sale right now. But can you guys already see the flawless coverage of this foundation? Let me show you. Can y'all see that? It's literally like my face has been airbrushed. See that? Okay, let's scoot it back a little bit so I can tilt this down. Okay, because I know the comments get in the way sometimes, but look at that. See this? All that unevenness. Um, look at that. Boom, that was just a couple sprays. I'm telling you, it is so quick, so easy. You're going to be able just to get out the door and have the smoothest looking complexion. All right, we're going to go in with a few more sprays for the other side. And we're going to apply it over here. Hi, Tina. Okay, stippling it on. Okay, and then if you have um, areas that need more coverage, just go in with a couple more sprays. You'll be good. Bring it down the neck. Make sure you're always bringing it down the neck. Um, guys, something I've noticed, someone told me the other day on my lives that my um, comments were really lagging. So it might seem like I'm, I'm ignoring you for a few moments, but it's just I'm seeing my comments super late. Okay, we're going to get all the way up underneath these eyes because these eye bags, they got to go. They got to go. I'm telling you, Jen, it's amazing. I mean, they could not have launched this foundation at a better time. It's incredible. Okay, we are blending it down the neck. I don't know, guys. I was thinking about doing like a purple eye look today. What do you guys think? Or should we just do like a nice soft Monday glam? Just a... Let's make it through this Monday kind of look. Like, let's just look half human kind of look. What do you all think? Look at that. Oh my goodness. 
I can't even. Okay, I had a huge spot up there. <clears throat> I'm taking one extra spray just for this little guy up here. But I'm telling you, it's like covered, gone, bye-bye. Love it. Love it. Okay, and after tomorrow morning, I'm only going to be four bundles away from my monthly goal. Four bundles. So jump on in and grab one. Okay, there we go. And our face is completely covered. And we are ready for some concealer. I am going to brighten up the under eyes. And I typically... Um, or I could go without concealer with this foundation. I could go without concealer if I wanted to. But since it's in the bundle, I'm going to go ahead and show it to y'all. Just to show you what you can do with it. Um, if you want to use your concealer for concealing, that's totally fine. But I like to use mine for highlighting. So I get a lighter shade. Um, it's probably about three shades lighter than my foundation. You can go a couple shades lighter. But I'm going to take a tiny little dot of it spread it onto my fingers. We're going to dab this underneath the eyes here. Okay, just like that. Bring it down into a triangle. Okay, because I think that by brightening these under eyes, um, it makes me look about mm, 10 years younger. That's just me personally. I'm going to bring it to the center of my forehead. Go ahead and slap a little bit on that guy right there, down the nose. <clears throat> Thanks, Jen. Yes, everybody, it's a must. It's a must. Everybody needs it. So go ahead and message me if you want in because you're going to be kicking yourself come Friday morning when you didn't grab it. Okay, I'm throwing some up here on my eyelids. Jen, I hope you have a great day. We'll chat later. Okay. There we are. See, we didn't add a whole lot. We had the tiniest little dot of that. And we just added that down the center just to kind of brighten up those areas. Okay. So now we're going to go in with that kabuki brush and just kind of tap that in and blend that in. Okay. You can use a sponge to do this part, a damp sponge. But huh, I need to pick up some new sponges. So we're using the brush. We're just going to use the same brush that we applied our foundation. Look at that already though, guys. Okay, by highlighting, you're also, um, you're also bringing out areas that you want to stand out. Highlighting under those eyes, it brings that attention up to the eyes. I love all the little tricks with makeup that you can do. Okay. And it just really highlights our um, features. Okay, there we go. I'll blend it in. Now we're going to set it with a powder. Okay, Behold Setting Powder is um, amazing. If you need a good powder, I would um, grab that in your bundle. Um, and then you can purchase the setting spray separately. I use both of them in my makeup looks. But I would start out with the powder just so that you have something to set your face with and to set your um, concealer. Okay. That's what most people are doing. They're getting the setting powder. But it's customizable if you have a powder you already use that you love. That's fine. You can grab the setting spray. Choices. You've got choices in this bundle. Okay, we're just blending that all over the face. And then look, we've got a nice flawless complexion. So they couldn't have named this bundle better. The flawless four, it's like the perfect name for it. Our hair is looking all kinds of crazy. Did you guys know that you're supposed to go 48 hours without washing your hair after you color it? If you didn't know, now you do. So that's why we're looking all kinds of crazy. Because I colored it on Saturday. Today's Monday. Technically, 
I could wash it today, but I think I'm going to try to hold off until tomorrow. Plus, I need to pick up some um, color-treated shampoo. I have none here, and I don't want I don't want any of this color to wash out. So, that's why we're looking crazy. I did apply dry shampoo, but as you can see, it didn't do a whole lot. All right, so now we are going to, um, we've got the base of our face finished. Now we're going to go in with some beachfront bronzer. Some gorgeous, ooh, whoops, sorry guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Totally bumped y'all. Um, some gorgeous beachfront bronzer in the shade Malibu. And we are going to start chiseling the face. Okay. AKA contouring. And adding some warmth. You guys done know this is the part I get excited about because I feel like it makes such a huge difference. Okay. I um, don't like using a contour brush because I kind of like mine, um, I don't know, I like mine looking more spread out and just kind of giving me some color. So I use, um, it's not really fluffy, it's more of a dense fluffy brush. That's how we'll ex describe it. So I can add it right there on that cheekbone. I want to to make those cheekbones more um, pop out a little more and then it can get all the way up here on the side of the forehead okay add some color up there that's a must when I wear my bangs back like that got to contour contour that forehead and then this part yep that's my must right there is that jawline slim down the face Right of that jawline and then just drag it down the side of the neck and down the neck. Okay, there you go. You look five pounds lighter. Five, ten pounds lighter actually. Skinnier. Poor connection. What? I should not have poor connection. I have never had poor connection here. Not sure what that's about. Okay. There we go. All right, I'm going to quickly add it onto the sides of my nose. Um, because I like a little nose definition. Um, you can use it to uh, make your nose look slimmer if you've got a wider nose. I mainly just do it because I like a more defined nose. Because I like the shape of my nose. I'm not necessarily changing the shape. I'm just giving it more definition. Okay, just like that. And then I'll go through with my kabuki and kind of just buck it a little bit softly to blend it out. Just like that. You don't want to buff it away, so we're just doing it nice and gentle. Okay, look at that. The face is coming together already. It's coming together. Now we're going to add some blush onto the cheeks. Um, and I'm going to use my new favorite shade. Not serene, not sweet, but we're going to use Seppel. It's my new jam. Let's find a good, let's find a good blush brush. We'll use this one, but I'm going to wipe it off a little bit because I used sweet on it yesterday. And I want supple on my cheeks today. So pretty. So we're going to tap that right onto the apples and kind of blend it, blend it at an angle. It is the prettiest blush shade. It may, it just might be my new favorite. If I'm being honest. You guys see my pillow back there? I should have wrote my K backwards because you guys are seeing it backwards now. Okay. 
That is so pretty. All right, and then I take my fluffy brush and kind of just buff it in a little. Okay, so it's not too, too crazy. Okay, blend out that contour. Just blend, blend until everything looks nice and nice and soft. Oh, this hair. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know it's dirty when you like go to pull it out and it just stays there. That's called too much dry shampoo. Alright, so my face is complete except for luminizer. But I like to um, spray some setting spray on my face and then go in and luminize. So we're going to do that. I just feel like, I mean, you could do it beforehand, but um, I like a popping luminizer. So I feel like when you set your face first, it kind of just makes your highlighter a little bit more bold and bright. Okay, and on this part, you want to keep your face like nice and calm while that is setting because um, you don't want nothing to crease. So we're just going to let that set in just like that. Okay, if you make kind of crazy faces while that's nice and wet, um, you're going to crease your makeup. You don't want that. So just kind of calm the face. <clears throat> All right, and then I'm going to go in with some luminizer with my blending brush. Um, and we do have luminizers. We've got powder luminizers, um, cream to powder luminizer. I don't know if those are still available, but we do have powder luminizers. But I like to use um, one of our pressed shadows, Optimistic. You might have seen me use it before. You might have seen me use it many, many times. Most likely, if you watch my videos, you probably have because I use it in every video. Um, so I'm going to use our press shadow in the shade Optimistic. And so we're adding it to the tip of the nose down the bridge. That's where I like to start on the cupid's bow. And then the cheeks. Look at that. It just makes you glow. I love that. Look at that. I mean, to me, I feel like that just adds a youthful look to the skin. Okay, and I'm not in my 20s anymore, so I can use all the glowy, youthful skin I can get. Okay, are you with me? Do you feel me? Show me some hearts if you if you agree that you could use that too. I'm gonna go ahead and pop some hottie lip plumper on my lips. So that can be plumping those lips up a little bit. If you haven't tried this yet either, you need to give this a try. I feel like it just really adds a little bit of fullness to the lips. It doesn't hurt. I really love the feeling that I get from it. It's like a nice like cooling sensation. I love it. Alright, so I like to let that set before I go in and do my lips. Um, when you go in to line your lips and put your lip um, product on, you can just go in and wipe it off and exfoliate your lips if you want to. Um, but we're going to let that sit while we do our eyes. Okay. Does that sound good to y'all? All right, so now we're going to fill in the brows real quick using the Brow Artist or brow, the Brow Artist brush with the Brow Obsession palette. Okay, we're going to go in and do the brows real quick. This is the blonde palette. Um, which if you have blonde hair then or red hair, I recommend the blonde palette. Um, I do not have blonde hair but this palette still works for me um, but if you like yours to be um, really dark if you have medium to dark hair then you might want to go with a deeper palette we do have two other shades so it's all according to what you like but I feel like it gets my brows dark enough for what I need 
like a perfect match to my hair. And I'm using the Brow Artist brush. If you get the Brow Obsession palette, this is the brush that I recommend you get with it. The Brow Artist brush. It's really good. Really, really good. Okay, and I don't do much to my brows. I mainly just fill them in a little bit for some shape because I've got some pretty thick brows, as you can see. So my brows don't really take me that long, especially since getting the Brow Obsession Palette in this brush. I literally can get my brows done in a matter of seconds, which is nice because I don't have to spend. That's just, it's just less time that I have to spend. So I am okay with that. Definitely a time saver, that's for sure. Okay, do just like that. Now we're good to go. Brows are done. Um, so we'll take the spoolie, the brow brush. Just kind of comb that through it a little bit. Just like so. Yes, the brows are looking good. Better, anyway. Okay, so we're done with the Brow Obsession Palette. Now we're moving on to the eyes. And you guys, I was hoping you'd be on here to help me decide what we should do. Now I've got to make decisions myself. Okay, so, um, hmm. Do we want a purple eye? Or a neutral eye? Hmm. Let's just do some purples. Let's do purples. Let's do something fun today. I've got this gorgeous camo on. I guess I could do green. I could do a green eye look, but I think that'd be too much. A bit too much. So we need to pop a color. I'm going to go in with the shade Agile. Press Shadow. And I'm going to add that into my crease for our transition color. Okay, I always like to zoom you guys in just a little bit for the eyes. Just to show you guys what I'm doing so you guys can see it. We're just going to buff that back and forth through the crease. Agile is like a, um, kind of like a taupey purple color really pretty. I do believe it's a matte shade, so I recommend doing mattes uh, through the crease for your transition. I don't, I don't put shimmers or anything sparkly or metallic through the crease. Um, not up above the crease anyway. Okay, keep it matte there. That's just my suggestion. Okay, if you guys are commenting, I'm not seeing comments because my scrolling thing is still going crazy. I know I said I was going to uninstall my Facebook and reinstall it, but I totally forgot until I hopped on this live. So it's still going crazy telling me 50 million people are watching and joining. The same people who have already joined, it just keeps saying it over and over. Don't know why it's doing that. Um, it's weird. Very weird. All right, now we're going to add some purple. Some pretty purple onto the lid. So I'm going to get a cream shadow brush for this. And we're going to add a metallic purple onto the lid. Okay, so to do that, I am going to wet my cream shadow brush with some setting spray, okay, to make that metallic color pop. And we're gonna go into the shade Credulous, which is a gorgeous metallic purple. And we are going to pat that purple all over the lid. So, so pretty. So if you love purples, this is gonna be your kind of eye look. Super easy to do too.
there. And once we get this all over the lid, we're gonna blend the crease. Look how pretty that is though. Love it, love it. I haven't done a purple eye in a while. My sister loves when I do purple on the eyes. That's her favorite eye look that I do. Okay, now that we got it on there, we're just gonna lightly blend that crease. Okay, so pretty, love that. Okay, I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit again for the other side. Oh, this chair is so annoying. That squeaking noise. It wouldn't be so bad if I had music playing or something. But we know Facebook gets all touchy over that. Likes to throw people in jail, Facebook jail, for playing music. But then there's people that get away with it. But I'm not one of those people. I don't know how people get by with it. Like, are they paying Facebook off? I don't know. Look at that. Oh my goodness, there are so many squirrels around this house. I have seen more squirrels since we've moved here, I think, than in my entire life. Something else that's really weird, and it has freaked me out several times, is the birds around our house. They will just smack right into the windows. I'm talking like it'll give you a heart attack. They hit so hard. And um, I was doing an IG story the other day. <laughs> and one uh, smacked into the window right after I got off the IG. I wish they would have done it while I was on. Because I jumped <laughs> so hard. And my... My heart was racing. It scared me to death. It was kind of funny. I had to laugh at myself afterwards because it was pretty funny. Look at that color, though, guys. That's only two pressed shadow shades. Agile and Credulous. Isn't that super pretty? Okay, and I think we're even going to do a purple liner liquid liner on the lash line, top lash line, just to add a little bit more purple, purpley glam to our eyes. I'm going to take that credulous underneath as well. Yeah, I'm glad I went with the purple today. I think it really complements the, the camo. But I need some earrings, some purple earrings. Oh, I do have purple earrings, but I don't think it'll go with the camo. Because they're kind of like um, leaves that have purple. Oh, that is so pretty. All right, so let's blend this crease out a little bit. We already did the other side, but I forgot to do this side. Mm. Oh, this purple is gorgeous. Okay, so we are going to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner with some optimistic. Okay, we got to do that as usual. Take an optimistic right on that brow bone. Just like that. Okay, do you guys see how easy this eye look is? Doesn't it make you want to go and buy some new eyeshadows and play around with? Create some gorgeous eye looks? It is so fun to do, guys. So fun. You guys can do it. You guys can do it, and if you need any help, I will, I will help you. 
<clears throat> okay, so we're going to take some purple dip and draw um, liquid liner. Let me find my purple one. It is called Psychic. Okay, I don't remember if this was an exclusive liquid liner. I don't know. It might still be available on my website. But we're going to take this color and run it right along the lash line, the top lash line. And it's like a metallic purple. I mean, we are all about the purples today. Oh yeah, that just adds like a little glam on the, on the lid. Look how pretty that is. It definitely really shimmers in the light too. It's really pretty. Just like that. Now we're going to do the other side. I like a little shimmer on my eyes. Okay, that just glams it up some. I love the dip and draw liquid liner. I feel like it's so easy to use. Okay, just like that. Look how pretty that is, guys. Love it. Okay, so now we're gonna throw on some lashes. So let's get these lashes nice and primed with our Moodstruck Epic Lash Primer. So, so good. If you've never tried this before, I definitely recommend giving it a try. I've got some lash sets. If you need some new lash products, um, this primer is like a serum and a primer in one. It's got ingredients that helps condition the lashes, so it's going to help your natural lashes, which is a plus. And um, you can grab one of our mascaras with it in a little duo bundle. Highly recommend it. Save some money. Okay, if you've been wanting to try the Epic Mascara or the 4D Epic Mascara, the Fiber Mascara. Okay, and when I say Fiber Mascara, I'm not talking about... The one you've probably heard of, which was the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. We no longer have that one. Um, <clears throat> the 4D is 100 times better than the 3D, and it's only one step. You don't have to put transplanting gel, fibers, gel, none of that. One step. So let's go ahead and use the 4D Mascara. It's incredible. You guys will love it. Okay, so we're going to start out, oh, 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 we got a little bit of something on our, on our face. I think we had a little bit of fallout. Just that off. Okay, we're going to start out by wiggling the brush into the base. Okay, really build up that base. That's how I like to start the 4D, okay? Because that's going to make your lash line appear thicker, which we all love that, right? Thicker lashes, thicker looking lashes. I mean, nobody ever said, I don't want thick lashes. I've never heard that before. Okay, and then I'm just going to bring it to the tips on the top and the bottom. Okay, and so that primer has already primed the lashes. It's already separated them for you. Um, so it really does prepare the lashes for your mascara. Perfect duo, lash duo. But are you guys seeing this? You're gonna wanna take a screenshot of this because that's one coat. That's just one coat. Okay, you can do as many coats as you want. Okay, I feel like the lashes don't get clumpy with the primer on there. So you can let the first coat dry. And then if you want to go in and add more, you can totally do that. But I recommend just adding it onto the tips. 
when you go in with more than one coat, I think you should just add it onto the tips because um, you don't want to get too much product on the lashes. Okay, because then it will start to look kind of clumpy. So that's what I recommend. Oh, hold on. Let's rub a little bit of that off there. Okay, right in the base. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, once you get the hang of this down, the hang of this, you're gonna you're gonna be like obsessed. Promise you. Okay, and if you're for some, for whatever reason, if you are not impressed, um, we have a 14-day love it guarantee. We can send it back, get your money back, exchange it for something else, whatever you want to do. Okay, but Unique stands behind their products 100%, so that's why they offer that 14-day guarantee. Wow, guys, my stomach is super, like, growling right now. I really hope that you guys cannot hear that. It is growling so loud. I guess I'm going to have to figure out something for lunch when I hop off. Look at that. Oh my goodness, one coat. One coat. That lash primer just completely up the lash game. Crazy. That's insane. All right, so I am going to do a second coat, but we're going to keep it on the tips, okay? We're just keeping it right on the very tips of the lashes because I want more length. By building up that base, we don't really need more volume, but we want more length, so we're just adding it right onto the tips. Okay, because those fibers are grabbing onto the tips there. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, hi. Guys, I hope I'm not missing you. Join. Okay. If I am, I apologize. Facebook's crazy. I gotta keep say, quit saying that because they're probably gonna throw me in jail for talking bad about them. But they need to fix this glitch. Whatever it is, it needs to be fixed. Because it's really hard to concentrate and stay focused. Alright, so I got a little bit too much right there. But that's okay. Because what I'm going to do is just go in with my little brow comb here. Slash lash comb. And comb right through that. And that's going to re-separate like separate them. No biggie. Okay. Don't the lashes look amazing? Look at that. Okay, got to show you how long they look. So crazy. Okay, we're going to add a little bit onto the bottom. Just a little bit. Okay, add some lashes down there. And then we're going to do a lippy. And we're going to keep the lips simple today. With one of my favorite lip combos. Oh, so exciting. One of my most used lip combos. Now that I finally have these colors back, these shades back, I'm going to show you guys. Alright, so we're going to wipe off that hottie lip plumper. Our lips are feeling nice and full. Okay, just like that. Now we're going to go in with Precision Lip Liner in the shade Plush, which I just laid it here because I knew I was going to be using it. This happens every time. Where are you? There you are. <clears throat> All right, so Plush Precision Lip Liner. Let me make sure I'm using the right one. Yes. Okay, so plush is kind of like similar to that agile color that we used in the um, crease. It's kind of similar to that color. We're going to line the lips with the plush. Mm, 
I love our lip liner, so smooth. Okay, and for anyone who uses our pencil lip liners or our pencil eyeliners, I always recommend to grab our pencil sharpener because it's the only pencil sharpener that works with our pencils. Okay, so you have to have the unique, and it's super cheap, so toss that in your cart if you're going to grab any of our pencils. Okay, isn't that pretty? Okay, and then we're going to go in with a lip bonbon. And the one that I love to use with plush is raspberry cheesecake. I got a new one, y'all. Got a new one, and it's so pretty with plush. Just like that. Okay, we're done. There is the look. Let's bring you guys back out. There is today's look, guys. So, guys, go grab the Flawless Floor Bundle. Four more days, four more days, and then it goes off sale. Primer, face primer, concealer, your choice of foundation. We use the spray foundation today. It's incredible. Mind-blowing. Incredible. Okay. Um, and then setting products. 30% off. All for $99. Um, if you need help getting a color match, message me. Let me know. I can help color match you so that you can grab yours and get yours ordered. Um, but there it is, guys. We did a purpley eye. Super pretty. Long lashes. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope you guys have a fabulous Monday. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.